I'm gonna be doing a watercolor painting today. Got my watercolors all set out and I've got my different brushes here. And so and I'm gonna start with a larger brush. I'm gonna kind of just wet the paper. I've got the paper tacked down because when you wet it, it does have a tendency to buckle on you and give you little waves and stuff. So and I'm just doing the top half. So let's let's maybe we'll do a landscape. Just some blue. Now if you want clouds in it, there's a couple ways. You can either leave the white of the paper or I have paper towels here and you can sort of touch and pick up some of the color. I'm just bringing some of that blue down. And let's take it up a little bit. I do have areas where I've sort of put a little pencil mark so I know where my picture is going to be framed in. I will go outside of that a little bit because we can move our uh, mat when we're done a little bit this way or that way depending on what we have just just a touch of the red alizarin just give it a little purplish color here and kind of just bring that down a little bit and I'm going to take my paper towel let's pick up a little more blue in here and I've got it pretty wet. You can see it's almost dripping here. It's a little different blue here. Just towards the horizon, it gets a little warmer. I have a phthalo blue and I also have an ultramarine blue. So I do have a couple different blues. I'm just warming it up more towards the horizon. And I'm kind of just pulling it down a little bit. All right, I'm cleaning my brush. I'm gonna take my paper towel and kind of and don't just randomly hit it just you know try to do cloud shapes right there maybe that one goes off there maybe we got one over here just turning my paper a little bit where it's drier and you need to do this while it's wet pick up the some of the color And you can always go back in with a touch of the blue and a little too much here. Um, you can always pick up some of the uh, of that off. And that's some of the warmer blues. And we're just getting sort of the bottom of the those clouds. I'm going to bring some of that blue up into there. And back into my paper towels. Maybe along in here. Some clouds. Alright. That looks pretty good. So, I'm just taking water. There's still a little blue in there, that's fine. Right in here. I'm going to go into some of my greens. Now I've got a vermilion green and it's a cool green. It's got a little more of the blues towards it. But I can warm that up with a little bit of my yellows. But I'm still keeping it more towards that cool side. And maybe... And that paper's still wet. I'm just, we're sort of doing a wet on wet. I'm just kind of right along the bottom. Let's pick up a little more of that color down here. And I'm just kind of letting that float down. And just kind of let it spread. And I'm going to take a little more yellow to that. And just kind of set that down a little bit. 
I'm gonna go back to my blues, maybe right in here. And back to my yellows. Maybe there's a splash of sunlight coming through here. This paper is super, super saturated. It's super wet. Let me just sort of, a little bit of that. Let me go back into my greens. And see, I, we're just mixing color on the paper, basically. All right, we're gonna bring that in a little more. And up here, we can go back in. I've got a little angle. We can actually go in and scrub some of that color up top. Can even take a little bit of it and bring it down. So you can change things on here. So we've got basic, and we're just gonna kind of pull that right across. Their mat's not gonna come down this far, but that's fine. All right, so we basically got color in here and it's super saturated. So before we do anything else, we're gonna need to let that dry. Now you've got two ways of drying. You can just go ahead and make yourself a nice cup of tea or go have a little snack or you can come back when it's dry or you can take a hair blower and dry that. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna use my hair blower to speed this up. So I'll be back in a second once it's dry. Okay, I'm finished blowing it dry. It's fairly dry. And if you look at it, there was a couple wet spots that got moved around by the hair blower, but that's fine. We can work with it. So we got a very watery color background. And from there, we can start going in and defining some areas. I'm just take a wet brush. Now, if you got some hard lines like here, you can go and scrub some of them out even after it's dry. You can see how I'm moving, still being able to move that paint around even when it's dry. So you still can have some maneuverability here. You can see how I'm just picking up some of that just by scrubbing it. I can even drag some of that color down closer to the tree line. So that's the beauty of watercolor because it dissolves with water. We can move things around and go ahead and change things. Now, if you want some white clouds, you can pick some of that color up or you can even get a little bit of white um, acrylic paint, white gesso or white acrylic paint and put some in there though. Um, we generally will try to use the white of the paper whenever we can on doing it. Now these tree lines are fine, but I'm gonna darken some below it. The more planes you have, the further back it pushes everything back. So I'm gonna add just a touch of yellow to my greens. You can also make a green with your blues and green, which gives you a slightly different um, tone for green. So. So you can get different colors by mixing your different colors on your palette. Now this green I'm using right now, I have on here, is from the blue and uh, yellow mixed together. This one is more our greens with just a touch of yellow in there. So you can get different, different things going on. And in here, we're gonna put a second line of trees. And I'm going to 
it just takes some extra water kind of on the base of it kind of fade that back out and just kind of bring it down and because of the yellow down here i'm actually going to pick up straight yellow on the tip of my brush i'm going to actually start up in the green a little bit and then bring some of that color down i'm not going to lose all that yellow because i'm lightly going over it all right that looks pretty good you can even come in here and you can see how I'm working the edges a little bit. So, let me go back to that green. We're going to start on this side. Maybe this one, we're going to use the, maybe back and forth. Maybe you got some evergreens over here. You decide what shape your trees are in. And then here, we just got a few trees coming in. And then maybe here, some grasses or trees or something, something there. And then I'm going to kind of drag that across. And right in here, I'm going to just touch the blue, just the tip, just the tip of my brush. And maybe, maybe in here, you can just see a little bit of the blue. Maybe the lake starts in there back behind those trees a little bit. And it's just starting to come out. I'm gonna wet my brush, tap it on my paper towels, and kind of the wet one and just kind of blur that out a little bit. We have a little stream coming in. And that opens up into there. And we can bring that down as far as we want. I'm gonna go back to my greens. Maybe. This is my vermilion green, mixed with just a touch of yellow. It's a little darker, a little more blue. But then I'm going to kind of drag that back side of it back. In fact, I'm going to even put some, almost like a little separator between that background trees. So. Yeah, a little bit in there. So we've got a little background going in. It's back to my greens, maybe touch more yellow into it, brighten it up just a little bit more. And in here, we're gonna bring some brighter greens. And you can, you don't have to cover everything you have here. Let's go with some of my cooler greens. Maybe there's a nice shadow right in here coming down. And then to our more yellows. Just kind of alternating back and forth and we'll add some of the darker ones there. Now decide where your water is. And I'm using the point is where I'm picking up my water and then just sort of dragging it back. So I don't know, let's see. And it looks pretty good. And we're gonna drag this out a little bit more Okay, so now I'm just going to put a streak there and kind of drag that right off, right down. We don't know where it goes, it just flows there. I'm going to go in on the tip with a little bit of brown, maybe, maybe here. Let's get a little more of that. Maybe we got some rocks there, get some water, pull those back. A little bit of dirt, a little bit of rock, something, something along that shoreline. Pick up some of our greens. 
behind it. Yeah, let's get a little more of that green here. And let's get a little more. Maybe there's a bigger rock here. Let's pull that kind of, pull it down a little bit. And I think I've got a smaller, little tiny brush here. I can pick up some greens on it, maybe pull up a few grasses underneath it. Whatever brush works. I'm gonna pull that rock back a little more. Maybe on this side. I'm just kind of tapping in, maybe. There's some pebbles, some rocks, something along that shoreline there. And I'm gonna go back, corner my brush, pick up my blues. Maybe along here the water flows. I see I sort of had a hard line there. I just lost that. And as that water meanders down, let's give it a little more shoreline here. Dip Stand back, look at your painting. See where here we can get some darker colors. And if you do, then just wet your brush. Maybe tap it on your paper towels and just kind of pull a little bit of that back so you don't have a super hard line. Here's another place where maybe the water flows out. And wet my brush, tap it, and then kind of pull that color back a little ways. So we can, like I said, go in and even put some rocks here. You can even tap some water to kind of pull that, maybe a little beach or shoreline there. Can even bring a little bit of that up here. And let's see, let's form this side a little bit. want to pick color up you can just dry your brush a little bit here I mean it's a wet brush but just like tapping you can even put a few so and maybe here and if you want a waterfall make it a little darker here and then take some white acrylic over top of it but we're not going to be doing any of the acrylic painting though some people do enjoy that all right, so we basically have a nice background. We're gonna add a little grass coming right up to that, where that looks like sand or rocks or something along that shoreline. And I think on this side, we'll bring a little, maybe, oh, maybe a touch of the blue wide net here. So, and go into my water, just pull that back a little bit. All right, we've got, a basic background. Now we have to decide what we want to put in there. Do we want tall trees? Do we want pine cones? So let's go and mix up some of the cooler greens. 
with just, just a touch of the yellow, not much. And then we have to decide, I think here, I'm gonna touch just the corner of the brush. I'm just working my way back and forth. And if you want, you can add a little more yellow to it. And I'm gonna bring nice evergreen down. You can add a little bit of blue to that color. Go back and on the side that, on the shadier side, you can actually add a little bit there. Do it while it's wet so it blends with the tree. Maybe, maybe here, there's another one. That one looks like it's way in the back, so we don't want to lose it entirely. But it's all right if we kind of put something a little more in front of it. That pushes it back. And while making this one a little bit darker, it pushes it in front of this one. So you've got like a line of trees coming through there. All right, let's go back. And maybe, maybe here's one. And let's get a little more color. And if it's too dark, Take your paper towel, pick up some of the color off, and then go back in and work it a little bit here if you need a few more. All right, we got a nice dark one there. Maybe, maybe here, there's another one. Just going to pick up more color when I disappear. You see my brush disappear. And some of these, when we put our mat on, may not even, may be even off of the side of the paper. So we got some darker ones here. And if they're too dark, you can always pick up some of that color off of there, fade them back in. You can even pick up a touch of the yellow on the brush. You can add a little that, a little yellow green, brighten it up. All right, we've got a couple trees there. Underneath, we're gonna pull some of that color out because we got some shadows under there. And this one, I'm gonna use a little darker green. I'm gonna go in to some of my browns. Here. And as I come down, I push harder. I'm gonna go back, touch. And as I come down, push harder. And I'm just picking up more paint. Trying to get this a little darker down here. Maybe it's got a little branch coming out here. Give it a little foot there. Let's get some of our greens underneath. And I have a twiggy brush and that's exactly what it looks like. It's just a small brush I'm gonna pick up some of them browns. And I, I rest my finger where it's not too wet on there. And it gives you a little more control for some of these little twiggy brushes and little twigs coming out. Pick up some more, maybe, maybe that one just goes right out of, up.
And let's come down here. And you see this one I started out here, but it's up to you, which works better for you. I'm gonna make that a little thicker. Maybe there's a branch that comes back over itself. And let's give it one more out here. All right, you put as many branches as you want. I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna use my round brush. I do have a round brush. I'm gonna wet that. Pick up some of my greens, mix it with some of my yellows. Not a lot of yellow. Just give it a nice spring green. And that you can just kind of you can actually form some actual leaves, but for now we're just kind of touching, giving the impression that there's some leaves popping out here. Maybe pick up a couple darker ones out here. I'll add a few darker spots here and there. Some shadow ones. And that's, that looks pretty good. Maybe a couple right here, right across the trunk. So we've got that. We can come back. It doesn't matter which brush. I'm just, and that still had a little, a little bit of color in it. So I'm just, and let's see, I'm gonna go back into my greens. And this I'm gonna kind of just Maybe there's some kind of bush here and just, and then pulling the bottom out. And watch the contours. I'm gonna clean my brush. You kind of pull down at an angle. It looks like there's a, maybe the land is coming down on a little hill. See how this comes down to the water. Pick up just a little bit of blue here. That right out over there. And here, I think we've lost some of our blue back up in here. Just kind of fade it, drag some of that color back. A little on the corner. Bring that. Yeah. All right. Let's see where that water flows. Maybe, maybe right here. Pull it back, so. And then just plain water, just kind of dragging some of that color down. All right, maybe over here. I'm gonna go back with my twiggy brush. You can even put a few twigs and stuff here. I'm pulling it up. Now it's just wet. Kind of fading them out. Looks like maybe you got some twigs or trees or something back there, some trunks. And over here. And I'm gonna kinda touch that out, go into my greens. This looks like we got a few sticks or twigs there. Now I'm just gonna go into basic greens, pull up some grasses, maybe here. Maybe along that shoreline, there's a few in here. You put as much detail or as you want. Maybe over here, there's something a little taller growing out there.
And if you don't like it, just so pull it out, make it look like a grass there. Maybe here. And there's a rock here out in the water. And if you put a rock on the water, make sure you do a little reflections underneath. So. All right, stand back, take a look. Let's get our mat. Just kind of, oh, maybe, maybe go in here, pick up some of our darts. You can use the alizarin and the blues and that get some of their darks, maybe. There's one bird. There's two and three. Sign in. And I think I'm gonna sign this one. It's just sort of uh, playing around with watercolors. It gives you good practice. And gives you playing with that watery effect. So I think we have another finished painting. I hope you enjoyed this one.